One technique that we have to factor polynomials or write a polynomial as a product is to use something called the greatest common factor of all the terms in your polynomial. So here I've got a polynomial 8x to the fifth times y plus 12x cubed times y squared. And I want to factor out the greatest common factor of these two monomials that we have here. So let, let's start just over here on the side looking for the GCF of these terms here. So what I'll do is I'll actually, over here on the side, write down each of these terms, 8x to the fifth times y, which if you factor 8 completely apart would be 2 times 2 times 2, and then x to the fifth will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 factors of x, and then times y, of course. And then the 12x to the third, y to the second, that would be... Um, 2 times 6 is 12, and 6 is 2 times 3. And then we'd have x times x times x for x cubed, and y times y for y squared. And then I want to look at these two guys and see what factors would be common to all of these guys, or to both of these terms. So this has a 2 squared, and this has a 2 squared, and that's the most 2's that they have in common. Um, this has a 2 and that has a 3, so there are no more numerical values or coefficients that are common. This has x times x times x, and so does this term. So they have x cubed in common, and they both have a y in common. And so the GCF, the greatest common factor, would be 2 times 2 times x times x times x times y. In other words, 4x to the third y. So 4x to the third y is a factor of the first term, which means it divides evenly into it, and 12x to the third y to the second. So what we can do is we can take that 4x to the third times y and basically factor it out of each of these terms in, in our binomial here, and I know that it'll factor out cleanly because it is a factor of each of these guys. And so then we have to ask ourselves, okay, these two terms here where you factored out the GCF, what's still remaining there in those two terms? And so we ask ourselves, okay, 4 times what would give me 8? Well, that's 4 times 2. And x to the third times what would give us x to the fifth? Well, that would be x to the second. And y times what will give me y just times 1, and I don't, I don't really need to write it times 1. And then we played the same game for the second term. 4 times what would give me 12? That's 4 times 3. x to the third times what would give me x to the third? That's times 1. And y times what will give me y squared? Well, y times y would give me y squared. Okay, and so there's still a plus here in the middle. And so we factored this polynomial by kind of undistributing the GCF. We had this GCF or the common factor of 4x to the third y, and when you pull that out or basically use the distributive property in reverse or backwards, these are the terms that are remaining. And what you just did here, whether you realize it or not, is you created a product. It's now one polynomial times another one. And I want to point out something else. If we were wondering what these remaining terms should be, just look back here. Um, after you pull out your 4x to the third y, look at what's left over. You have 2x squared in the first term. That's why we have 2x squared. And then in the other term, we have 3 times y. Those are the only terms left. And sure enough, we have a 3y. What you're showing is the terms that are, are the terms that are left over after you factor out the 4x to the third y. So this is how we factor using the GCF. You find the GCF of two terms, and then you basically undistribute it, or you know, use the distributive property in reverse to take that expression out of the polynomial, and then you just write down what you have left over, and you've created a product, which means you factored the polynomial.